Galactic Communication, October 8, 2024. Hurricanes, election situation and end of evil. Communication and prophecy from Andre. Greetings to viewers. Andre, my ascended twin flame, whom you may know is among the Andromedans upon a higher dimension, and working with the Archangels, has given me a statement this morning, October 8th, because I have been worried. Andre stated. With absolute confidence, I can say that nothing can stop former President Trump from being elected president now. Last week or so, I posted that Archangel Uriel gave me more or less the same prediction. Before a new timeline was created because President Trump survived some assassinations attempts, the prophecy could have been uncertain. This can happen as a result of human free will and sudden decisions, as opposed to an event that is part of the divine plan, as the election of President Trump was in 2016. I asked if there is a danger that the elections could be prevented from happening, as I have heard it's possible from authorities who make videos and understand the system and the constitution. Andre replied. I don't think they can do this despite all the tricks they use. I asked, could Vice President Harris do what Vice President Pence did not do, on January 6th? Andre replied. We'll have to see about that. But I think something is in place to prevent that from happening. Andre also said. All is in control and some existing conditions caused by some technologies will be reversed. I understand that there is a divine plan and it is being manifested in a slow way, as a result of the forces of the light and of darkness playing a game of chess. You may know that from February 2016, I received predictions concerning the fact that Donald Trump was the candidate who was going to be elected, and they were published on videos by Matt Muckley Roy. I received one dictation a week and they continued till November 3rd on that subject. At the time, the most amazing prediction was from Archangel Michael as he said that President Trump was the only person able to oppose the establishment. This concerns more than America because he has the ability to create peace all over the world, as well as put the leaders of the nations on a track without the nonsense of the manipulations and deceptions that have been used for the purpose of remaining in power. Archangel Michael revealed to me Saint Germain's connection with President Trump. Whereas the Master Jesus was the hierarch of the Piscean Age, Saint Germain is the Chohan of the Seventh Ray and hierarch of the Aquarian Age, the main characteristic of which is freedom. His twin flame is Lady Portia, whose connection is justice and the judiciary system. Saint Germain has a Golden Age project and America was supposed to show the way with its constitution and democracy, but this didn't escape the force of darkness and they infiltrated the government, so the system needs to be restored to one of God over men, government. I have modified a decree I composed earlier, as follows. O Saint Germain, hierarch of this age and son of man, who has the means by divine plan, to make America great again, blaze, O oh blaze your violet flame, hurl it now in God's own name, with justice, Portia, rule the land. In freedom's name, take your command. Expose the steel, its cause and core. Let its timeline be no more. With violet flame, O oh great master. Keep us safe from disaster. With violet fire, do now descend. Transmute evil, transform the land. With violet fire that never fails. Transmute all veils. Blessed Jesus, master dear. Let enlightenment now appear. As there is evidence that a lot of people are seeking answers and wondering whether we are in the so-called last days of scripture, the message for now is that there is no end of days or of the world. In scripture it is a reference to the end of the Piscean Age that has been erased. This has become lost knowledge in Christianity. I want to repeat here that the book of Revelation is about the end of evil, not the end of the world, and furthermore, the end of the incarnation of evil or of Satan, referred to allegorically in the book of Revelation as the Red Dragon. But the Church of Rome has kept this hidden. An example of such an incarnation in scripture is Cain. 
We now are in the phase of the judgment of the Nephilim, the fallen progeny, but why? 1. They created corruption in the antediluvian era. 2. Perished in the flood that was the first phase of this judgment. 3. Were retained in the astral level to prevent them from deceiving mankind just after the flood so that civilization could be recreated. 4. Then returned as Antichrist thousands of years before Christ was born. 5. And are still incarnated in the human kingdom for their judgment. They are not fallen angels because angels are in a higher consciousness than human beings and do not fall. Archangel Michael indeed unveiled to me the fact that These fallen ones, Nephilim, were spirits of beings that had lived in the matter world in a previous cycle of time, but not angels of the angelic realm. Enough of them incarnated in the progeny of the sons of God of Genesis 6 verses 1 to 4 to create the downfall of the antediluvian world. Only the progeny therefore was Nephilim. Archangel Michael has also revealed that the sons of God were initiators who intermarried with the daughters of some Atlanteans. He stated, The key that unravels the mystery that Christ was called a son of God is the contention that Adam epitomizes that sons of God and that the term bin har Elohim that always means divine or angelic in the Masoretic text should be read as sons with an angelic nature. That explains why the Septuagint uses the term angels. But in Alexandria it was known that the sons of God were initiators that had been self-born, and Adam epitomizes them as they had in common that they did not have any human parents. With regard to the end of the age of Pisces, we are in the age of Aquarius since February 18, 2018, the date that Archiea Faith, the divine complement of Archangel Michael, gave me for the end of the transition period. There is a lot more to be said about all of this and how it relates to what's happening behind the scenes, but for the time being, see details in my PDF on academia.edu with the title of Beyond the Veil of the Lost Holy Grail and especially the corrected version of Chapter 7 on the interpretation of Chapters 12 and 20 of the Book of Revelation. I have a new synopsis and the manuscript is being modified so I will be re-uploading the new version with the title of Beyond the Veil of the Holy Grail of Avalon and Christ's Deification. Thanks for watching.